bossa nova is a type of light samba that's very adaptable to drum sets, so in this video, I'm sharing a few tips that may help you with the bossa nova beat. Coming up. Hi, I'm Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion instruments. Bossa Nova takes me to the beaches of Brazil, or a dimly lit jazz club, but it also takes me back to junior high jazz ensemble when Girl from Ipanema was passed out at my first rehearsal for drum set chair. My teacher helped me with the rhythm, but it never felt good. I listened to recordings of great Brazilian musicians, but I didn't understand how all the rhythms work together. So I want to break down the basic bossa nova rhythms and share a few different ways to play it on drum set and demonstrate a couple of variations on the basic rhythms. The bossa nova has three main parts. The shaker or cymbal pattern, uh, the clave rhythm based on the Brazilian clave, and the sordo part often played by the kick drum or floor tom. The Brazilian clave, although not as strictly followed as the Cuban clave rhythm, has two sides to the rhythmic cycle, a three side and a two side, and like the Cuban clave, you'll hear musicians play these in either two three or three two. If you want more information about clave rhythms, check out this video up here on the cards. This first example includes a 3-2 clave played as a cross stick on the snare drum. So it's important to find the sweet spot. I like to use the butt of the stick and adjust the stick until I find the sound that I want. If you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. Let's talk about the parts on the drum kit. The hi-hat is on beats 2 and 4, if you're thinking about this in common time, and the cymbal is playing straight eighths with a little feel, of course. As we mentioned earlier, the clave rhythm is played on the snare drum with a cross stick and the sordo part is played on the kick drum. If you find that this beat is too much for the song dynamics or rhythmically it's busier than what would better serve the music, try changing the instruments or implements like in the following examples. The key to playing the shaker is to use a wrist motion and maintain the position such that you get consistent definition on each stroke. In other words, you get to control the inner beads of the shaker and use that to your advantage. Let's put this together with the rest of the parts and pay attention to the kick drum rhythm. It's a little different on this one. Many drummers also use a brush on the snare drum head to simulate the shaker. You can play the brush a few different ways, straight up and down like in the example, or with a more of a sweeping motion. I produce the sweeping motion with a combination of forearm and wrist movement. Uh, the key to this technique is to relax and make the transitions 
from one sweep to the next as smooth as possible. The clave part can vary from the standard rhythm, but not too much. Make sure the variation you play works with the song and that it's not changing too much within the song. This first variation comes right from a tamborim rhythm played in a samba batucada. It's probably not what you think of when it comes to bossa nova, but it's an option that you may need to use to just to change up things for one reason or another. The last variation works great for changing it up in more of a jazz or pop setting. And notice that although this is a variation, I still maintain sort of a two sides to the cycle rhythmic concept. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.